What you do in the privacy of your own secluded backyard is your business, even if you decide to go skinny dipping on a hot, sunny day in Southern California. Problem is, this young man does not live here. He is a naked intruder at a luxury home in Bel Air caught on security footage. Matt and Monica Sabs are the homeowners. My wife called me. Uh, I was at home and I just had to go out of the shower and she called me and she said, they're selling the house. At this point, the stranger has helped himself to a shower and a pair of Matt's shorts. In a heart-pounding encounter that appears straight out of a big-screen thriller, the homeowner comes face-to-face -face with the intruder. Hey, hey, what are you doing here? In my house. What are you doing here? I'm going to call the police right now. I'm going to call the police right now. No. Get out of the house. Matt Sabs jumped off the master bedroom balcony and called police. The stranger had claimed this is his house and threatened to call the cops. He continues walking around calm, collected, unfazed, scribbling notes, sitting on the couch, and relaxing. Monica is watching helplessly. Get the f out! Now! What? Get out! I'll call the f police! Get out! Huh? The children were not home either. Father Matt says, thankfully, he only had to worry about his own safety. This most unwelcome visit, this violation, was not without violence. Matt and Monica Sabs say the intruder killed two of their beloved pet birds with his bare hands. I saw what he did to them, how, like a serial killer. He said, hi, birdies, with a smile, and put his hands in a cage, and squeeze them and then drop them on the floor uh, violently and it starts stomping on them. Uh, and unfortunately, the kids had to find these dead birds. Authorities acted quickly and arrested the intruder. When you see what this guy did to the animals, we don't want to know what he would have done to our family. Matt and Monica Sabs say a major lesson here is don't ever take your own personal safety for granted. Don't ever get too comfortable, not even during the day. Lock your doors, lock up your cars. This guy somehow got into Bel Air and then found Matt's car unlocked, got into the car and used his garage clicker to get into the house and onto the property. Police identify that man as 34-year-old Paul Keon. He's a drifter who will be in court on Monday to face a number of felony charges.